Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're going with a beginner friendly lace wig install. You guys already know I love a good closure wig and this company listened. This one does come courtesy of Kiss Love and they sent me over a 5x5 closure lace wig. But they really, really maxed me out on this one. This one is, let me just cheat, it is Body Wave 26 inches, 250% density. So she's super long and she's super full. But the icing on the cake with the length and all that it offers she holds a curl so even though she came with a very gorgeous body wave texture I decided to turn it up a notch and add some wand curlers wand curlers in the description box super affordable from Target you can pick it up while you're picking up your toiletries and household products for the family and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay ladies jumping right into it this one is going to be a body wave lace wig install you know i got you on the beginner friendly install i wanted to show you guys a look at the inside construction of the cap we are working with a 5x5 hd lace wig and she is 14a hair she's 26 inches in length as well as 250 percent density as i share the specs i am going in and moisturizing my hairline gotta go ahead and make sure your hair is moisturized and taken care of before you learn how to perfect these wigs and so i'm using the myel drops i'll have them listed in the description box now let's go ahead and customize our wig I'm going to go ahead and buff in a foundation shade darker and cooler than my complexion. This is going to act as a lace tint to go ahead and warm up the lace. Here is the wig on and as you guys can see that body wave is definitely body waving. The lace is beautiful. The texture is beautiful. And again, it's a closure wig so it's going to be super, super easy to install. I'm going to start the install process by going ahead and cutting off all of the excess lace. Luckily, there's not too much. I'm using an eyebrow razor to go ahead and do this. And then at the end, I did cut off the ribbons at the very end. So once I got everything I like pulled back, I'm going to go ahead and begin the process. Here, I'm going to do the dynamic duo. This here is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And both of these are from BDACBeauty.com. And what I like to do in this step is really go in and make the lace as flat as possible. This is going to train the hair to be super, super, super flat. It's going to get rid of any frizz or, you know, any texture. Now let's go ahead and pull the wig back and begin the install process. So this here is the Eben Wonder Lace and I love this as a glueless adhesive. I'm going to apply a thin amount and then blow dry on a cool setting, except I'm going to do something a little bit different and use an actual fan. You guys know the portable ones we love so much. I'll have my favorite one linked in the description box. Now here I'm going to go ahead and start the baby hair process. So originally I was going to go in and just do the two swoops at the very end of the lace on each side. But here I just decided to do very micro, small, thin baby hair. And we're going to do this step by step. So I went ahead and pulled all the hair that I'm going to use as baby hair forward. And then I'm going to go ahead and straighten out everything behind that. Because again, you want this to look super snatched and like it's coming out of your scalp. Once I got it how I like it, I'm going to go ahead and cut off as much of the hair as possible to make it super short. I'm going to say this is probably about a quarter inch long. It's very, very, very short. Pretty much too short to actually swoop. And that's what I like because I want it to look like little messy pieces that just fell forward out of your ponytail. And they're just like laying and flying any way they want. Then I'm going to use the edge control from BDACBeauty.com and I'm just going to go ahead and play with it and tease the hair. I want each piece to go in a different direction so that again it's not too uniform. And then I'm going to go ahead and let all of this melt with my melt belt. Now let's go ahead and add our Sebastian Shapers. This is just a hold spray and it's going to help to hold the curls we're going to form at this point. I'm going to go ahead and use the tutorial that I use or found on TikTok and I'm just going to go ahead and curl the hair away from the face using my wand curler. Now this one I got from Target and it's a nice size barrel but the barrel is actually super affordable. I think this one was under 30 bucks. I'll have it linked in the description box as well and the key to it with the little Farrah Fawcett curls is to not start too high. You want the curls to have a nice drop in the very front and then you know hold it there long enough to make sure that the curl is able to form and get hot enough. A great option also is to use pin curls, pin them up so that they really get to set while they're warm. This is what it looks like curled and then this is the natural state. Between you and me I've always loved the natural state the most. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more shapers at the end to really set those curls. And here is a close up of what they look like. A few of them did drop in the process because I did take a long time off camera to do the opposite side. But this is the look. Now we're going to go ahead and treat the lace. I'm going to add the Fenty Concealer along the parting. And I do add a generous amount of this. I pack it in and I blend it out. And then I'm going to use a foundation, a shade darker than my complexion along the hairline. And then you can go in and like touch up the baby hair and whatever you need to after that. Now let's go ahead and pull the curls apart. Again, I'm going to touch a few up with you guys on camera, but I love the way this came out. Okay, ladies, so we are done with the look and I love it. I literally have to tell you guys, I did a little bit of a cheat code and I did go on TikTok and search like how to curl hair and I think that helped. Now this one was the first one I did and I think it dropped so I might have to go back in and uh, touch it up. But um, I did um, find and honestly, I the tutorial I followed was from someone who had natural hair and not hair extensions and one of the things was I was putting the curling iron to you know how you want like the fair faucet I was putting the curling iron up too high according to what I watched let me see if I can get it again you see I just be messing up like why am I like this let's do one more this might be too thick I got it down pack don't do your curls up here you start near your eyes with the curl hold it and go away from the face and that way you get that little beautiful that beautiful little like drop that we love so much I think I finally finally figured it out because a lot of times I really don't even be caring how the rest of the hair look I just really be wanting that little piece in the front to do that little drop thing I don't even know what it's called I call it the fair faucet but I think I think I got it. I don't know. We got to make sure we can do it with the actual curling iron as well because the curling iron is definitely the hack. But I love, love, love this hair. This one is from Kiss Love. And this may be the first time I've worked with this company, but I really like it. They sent the wig over in this dust bag. This one is a 5x5 closure body wave wig in the length 26 inches and it's 250% density. And it's definitely nice and full. I love that because this is going to be a perfect like summer vacation hair. You guys know when the bun's out and the sun's out, we like to have a little dainty tops on, a little white beater, some cut off shorts, a little crop top or whatever you're into. This hair just long and full and flowing with the perfect curls definitely is a vibe that will definitely work for all occasions in the summertime. They did include some goodies in here, so I'll share. So it looks like we have an edge brush, baby hair, or another edge brush, what is this? So it looks like we have an eyebrow razor, which is what I actually use to cut off the lace. I use my own, I didn't realize they included one. A baby hair brush, 3D lashes, wig caps, as well as a melt belt. This is really cute because it's actually pink and it does say kiss love human hair on it so that's really nice as far as the hair goes it definitely is true to like the stats body wave is definitely giving body wave I did want to do curls today so um you can definitely like throw some mousse in there and diffuse it or you can do like a twist out uh braid out or anything you want if you want like a natural look um I obviously went for the sexy curls and it definitely holds a curl beautifully because you guys know sometimes you will spend all your time doing some curls just for them to drop immediately I can see here through the lens I can kind of clean this up a little bit I got a little bit messy with my um, concealer because I am filming this for TikTok as well so be sure to check me out I am the Ashley B deck there but we still trying to get back just regular Ashley B deck anyways I'll have everything I used in this video down in the description box of course you'll find a direct link there as well thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches